so welcome back to the mothership before we get started with today's video let me know in the comments below what color socks are you wearing in today's video we're going to be testing to see which lip products bleed the most on your lips and whether there is a difference between luxury and drugstore products lipstick bleeding means that over time as you wear your lipstick throughout the day it starts to fade out of the outline of your lips so i did a little bit of research online and a majority of these experiments have mainly been done with the lipstick alone i haven't seen this done with lip gloss liquid lipstick so what even is the point of this whole experiment it's basically an easy way to see spread out on a sheet of paper how lipstick will interact with the heat of your body we're going to be testing a ton of different kinds of lip products like lip liner lipstick you're going to want to stay until the end of this video because i was really surprised with the results they were super unexpected if you're new to my channel or haven't subscribed yet please take a moment to hit the subscribe button so you can join our styler family also i'm super excited to announce that i'm now back on you now and i'll be going live every single sunday at 6 p.m eastern time all right friends Without further ado, let's jump on into this experiment. Also, this hair. I have mad hair because it's crazy science day. You guys, if I tend to look down, it's because I have this giant table in front of me. So to start off with this experiment, most people recommend that you use a hot plate. I do not have a hot plate, but I do have this little burner that looks like a little stove top. And I also have a pan. So we're going to improvise and hope this works out. So in order to make it easier for us to compare later on, I went ahead and I cut four little sheets of paper out of just plain white paper. Then I went ahead and I added in titles of the different kinds of lip products along with a division of expensive and inexpensive so we can see later on like what the difference is. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with the lip liners and in the expensive column, I'm gonna go ahead and add in this Kat Von D lip liner in the color Lovecraft, which personally is my favorite lip color of all time. And then in the inexpensive section, we're gonna go ahead and add in this Maybelline product. So immediately I can tell that there's a huge difference just in the texture of these two products. The Kat Von D one is significantly creamier than the Maybelline one. Okay, so now it's time to put these on the pan and hopefully I do not set my house on fire. I mean, paper versus a stovetop burner, what could go wrong? I'm just going ahead and adding it straight to the pan. I'm gonna keep each of these on for five minutes, trying to keep the time equal just so we get an accurate result. You know, I kept this on, the pan did not notice a difference. I was pretty surprised that there wasn't really an effect to the lip liners. I was expecting that the Kat Von D one would especially melt just because it's such a creamy lip liner. Moving on to the next category, liquid lipsticks. So in the expensive column, I'm adding in Jeffree Star's liquid lipstick in the color Jawbreaker, which is my personal favorite blue color. And in the inexpensive section, I'm adding Again, this color by NYX. It's a liquid suede liquid lipstick. It doesn't have a name. L-S-C-L and then the number 13. As you guys will notice, I'm trying to add an equal amount of both products on each sheet of paper just so that, you know, there isn't a different result because of the amount that I put on the paper, you know. I went ahead and I warmed these up the same amount of time as the previous one, which was five minutes exactly. At first, there wasn't really much of a difference, but over time, I did notice that the NYX one started to slightly feather out. Unsurprisingly, the Jeffree Star one worked really well. It just kept its clean, round outline. Just speaking from experience, I've worn both of these colors on my lips and the Jeffree Star one definitely lasts way longer. Yeah, I think that's pretty interesting that you can see that on the sheet of paper. Okay, so next we're moving on to actual real lipstick. So in the expensive section, I'm gonna add in Kat Von D's lipstick in the color Lovecraft. And this is a matte lipstick. By the way, I forgot to mention that the previous two liquid lipsticks are also both matte. For the inexpensive column, I went ahead and I added in Elf's Smoochy Spice. I actually went ahead and I chopped off quite a significant amount, more than I actually needed. But then I went ahead and I used some toothpicks to just, you know, take an equal amount from each one, both the expensive and inexpensive one. This is actually a tinted lip balm, I believe but it really does work like a sheer lipstick. So I'm gonna go ahead and consider it as a lipstick because it really does have that same consistency. It's very waxy and hard. The two previous categories barely melted when I put it on the pan. And so I was expecting the same result with the lipsticks. When I ended up putting the lipstick sheet on the pan, oh my gosh. So the camera that, was, that would normally be pointing at it was off at this point, just because I usually have time to turn it on because that's how long it would take for the other ones to even do anything. But the lipstick swatch is literally you guys melted like in an instant. Here you can see that the pigment bleeded out of the Kat Von D one more than the e.l.f. one. So the result for this one shows that the Kat Von D one, the expensive one, bleeds more. The e.l.f. one won in this case. 
pretty wild. Okay, so now we're moving into the lip gloss category and here we're going to go ahead and test NYX versus Kylie Cosmetics. I'm adding in equal versions to both. So the one by Kylie in the expensive column is the color so cute. And the NYX one in the inexpensive column is the color peaches and cream. These are both really pigmented lip glosses. Okay, so for the lip gloss one, again, I was pretty surprised with this. This oily ring started to spread out from the globs of lip gloss. And I especially noticed that the Kylie one had a bigger oil ring. The NYX one had a smaller oil ring, but over time, even though the Kylie one had more oil, the outline of the lip gloss itself stayed put, so it did not bleed. The NYX one, on the other hand, had less oil, but you can see some feathering, so this one would indeed bleed. In this case, Kylie won. And finally, the last category is the lip crayon. Now for the lip crayon, I only have the expensive one, which is NARS's lip crayon in the color. It's Cruella, and it is a matte lip crayon. As you can see, the before and after photos are not really different. Also, if you guys look at all the other swatches, you'll notice that the lip crayon results are very similar to the lip liner one. So you can tell here that these two products have more black. Strangely enough, the lipsticks bled the most. <laughs> and strangely enough, the lip gloss barely bled at all. Okay, so now we've seen the results of all of these lip products, but I wanted to give you guys some tips on how you can actually prevent lipstick from bleeding on your lips, whether it be an inexpensive product or an expensive product, doesn't matter. So of course it really helps to line your lips, but sometimes people only line the outside of their lips, which I did this myself, so I'm totally guilty of having done this. It's far more effective if you fill in your entire lip. Okay, so a second trick with lipstick is to blot it after you apply it the first time. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And now I'm gonna go ahead and apply a second layer. And just like that, you are set. Now your lipstick will last for much longer than it would if you hadn't done those things. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was a little experimental and I, like you, hopefully learned a couple of new things. I love you guys so much and I will see you very soon.